Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am absolutely delighted to join you today on this occasion of Access Bank's International Women's Day Conference. Throughout history, women have been a powerful driving force for change, progress, development, and innovation. The signs of time are marked with the footprints of their accomplishments and successes. What more can and must be done? Now, despite their accomplishments, women continue to face discrimination and inequality. In so many spheres, the glass ceiling of opportunity remains unbroken. In many parts of Africa, it is not even a glass ceiling that women face. They face a ceiling made of cement concrete reinforced with cast iron. We must break down all barriers facing women, period. This is why I applaud Access Bank for the 2023 International Women's Day Conference and its efforts to challenge gender stereotypes, call out discrimination, and draw attention to bias and champion the cause of women inclusion. At a personal level, I have consistently maintained and that's way before I became president of the African Development Bank Group, that no bird can fly with one wing. The flight of Africa's development needs the wings of both women and men. We must therefore work tirelessly to dismantle systems, organizational cultures, and mindsets that perpetuate gender-based discrimination and inequality. This must not be a one-off initiative or a palliative window dresser. What must be curated is a robust, sustainable, concrete, and strategic approach with measurable timelines and milestones. When women thrive, economies thrive. That's because women form the backbone of Africa's economies. The continent has the highest percentage of women entrepreneurs in the whole world. In many countries in Africa, women are responsible for most of the agricultural production. Women-owned businesses are on the rise across the continent, contributing significantly to job creation and economic growth. Now, just think of the following. Nine out of 10 women pay back their loans, a truly extraordinary number. I'm a man, I can't say that for men, I'm sorry. The evidence is clear. Women are bankable. It is however bewildering that women in Africa continue to face a $42 billion finance gap. How do we explain that? There exists inbuilt gender-based biases against women in terms of access to finance. We always hear from financial institutions that they need guarantees or de-risking instruments to be able to lend more to women. Really? I firmly believe that what we are really de-risking is not any high risk of lending to women. We are simply de-risking gender-based biases on lending to women. All financial institutions in Africa, and indeed globally, should have well-designed programs and instruments for lending to women. Now, at the African Development Bank, we are taking bold steps to rectify this anomaly. In 2019, we initiated our program called Affirmative Finance Action for Women in Africa, also known as AFAWA, to bridge the financing gap and unleash the full potential of women in their businesses. Since then, we have approved well over one billion US dollars worth of loans to women entrepreneurs. We have established strategic partnerships for AFAWA with 56 financial institutions in 28 countries all across the continent, including right there 
in Nigeria. As Africa's premier financial institution, we are committed to empowering women and closing the gender gap in African countries. Now, AFAWA is only one example of the African Development Bank's commitment to women. Another is the way we promote gender diversity within our own organization. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud that earlier this month, we earned the first level of what's called EDGE certification. E-D-G-E stands for Economic Dividends for Gender Equality. It is the leading global assessment methodology, and it measures where organizations stand in terms of gender balance, pay equity, effectiveness of policies and practices to ensure equitable career flows and inclusiveness. The African Development Bank is determined to achieve gender parity across its workforce in the near term. Currently, the overall distribution is 39.5% women and 60.5% men. Our goal is clear. Attain full gender parity at the African Development Bank by 2028. We are making significant progress. Already, 50% of my executive leadership team is made up of women. The majority of our young professionals that are now entering the bank is now made up of women. By taking concrete action, we embrace equity and build a better and more inclusive future. By investing in women, we create a ripple effect that positively impacts entire communities. Women have access to education. Once they do, you will see economic opportunities for them that can lift them and others out of poverty. The result is a more prosperous and just nation where everyone can thrive. But the benefits go beyond just economic growth. When women are given a voice in decision making, societies become more stable and peaceful. Women bring a unique perspective, one that is often overlooked in traditional power structures. The fight for women's rights is not just a women's issue. It is a human issue. It is about ensuring that every person, regardless of gender, has the opportunity to achieve not only their own potential, but that of the entire African continent. It is very clear to me that the African Development Bank and Access Bank share this conviction. Initiatives such as Access Bank's International Women's Day Conference and its theme, Embracing Equity, is what our continent needs. Africa has made great strides, but more remains to be done. We must continue to advocate for policies that promote gender equality such as equal pay for equal work and access to affordable childcare. We must work towards eliminating gender-based violence and discrimination. And most importantly, we must listen to the voices of women themselves. We must amplify their voices and ensure that they have equal opportunity at the table. And guess what? If that table is too small, design a new and larger table. I believe that we must attain full gender parity of 50% men and 50% women in organizations. That way, we move beyond talking about gender sensitivity to full gender balance and equity. I am and always will be an unrepentant an ardent champion for women's rights and gender equality 
in Africa. Achieving gender equality is a persistent struggle that requires continuous efforts and action beyond a single day or month. To promote greater participation of women in African economies, private sector actors, employers, governments, development institutions, and other stakeholders must collaborate to address the unique constraints that hinder women from growing their own businesses and advancing in the workplace. I congratulate Access Bank on its W initiative. Well done. This fantastic effort of yours demonstrates your unwavering commitment to promoting the social and economic capabilities of women. I commend you for the foresight to create a platform that caters to the needs of women across different life stages. Women, as you know, are critical drivers of growth and development, and initiatives such as this will help to ensure that women are fully integrated into the economic fabric of society. I urge other organizations to emulate Access Bank's example. Let's join hands and embrace equity. Let's soar to new heights in Africa by flying with two wings, men and women together. May God bless all our women everywhere. Thank you very much.